What's up everyone? Welcome back. In this video, we got to simplify this expression here. So it's kind of weird looking. Haven't ran into too many of these. So what I'm going to do first here is I'm going to simplify this. So notice that we have x to the power of 3, x to the power of 4n plus 3. Multiplying exponents with the same base, meaning you could add the exponents. So this would end up being um, x to the 3 plus 4n plus 3. And what does that simplify to? That simplifies to 6 plus 4n. Right? So that simplifies to x to the power of 6 plus 4n. And that's going to be all square rooted. But instead of writing the square root, I'm going to put a rational exponent of 1 over 2, like that. And this is going to be all over. Now this 12n plus 16 can't really simplify that any further. But this fourth root here, I'm going to change that to a rational exponent of 1 over 4, like that. Okay. And then from here, what I can do is I can take these two exponents and multiply them. Right? If you remember the rule, a to the power of x to the power of y, you can just multiply those exponents. But when we take this 1 over 2 and multiply it by this exponent, we've got to multiply it by that entire exponent. So we're going to have to distribute that 1 half uh, throughout that whole term, that whole expression. So here's what I mean by that. We're going to have x to the power of 6 plus 4n. Um, and that whole thing is going to be multiplied by 1 over 2. Right, so we're going to have to distribute that 1 over 2 inside the bracket. This is going to be all over this 12n plus 16. That's going to be multiplied by 1 over 4. So this is going to be x to the 12n plus 16. <clears throat> um, actually, sorry, I'm just rewriting what I had before. So that entire exponent there is going to be multiplied by 1 over 4. Right? So here, 1 over 2 times 6, that gives us 3. And then 4n times 1 over 2, that gives us 2n. And then here, 1 over 4 times 12n, that gives us 3n. And then 16 times 1 over 4 gives us 4. Like that. Right? So took this, simplified it to this, and now this is looking a lot nicer to deal with. Now instead of writing 3 plus 2n, I'm going to make it in line with this. So I'm going to write 2n plus 3. And notice here, we are taking exponents and dividing them, and they have the same base. So we could just subtract the exponents. So this would end up being x to the power of 2n plus 3. And then we're going to be subtracting that whole thing. So you've got to make sure you put that in brackets. It's a common mistake there. Right? You're subtracting that whole exponent, so make sure you put that exponent in brackets. And now you've got to distribute that negative inside the bracket. Right, so when we distribute that negative inside the bracket, 2n minus 3n, that gives us negative n. And then 3 minus 4, that gives us negative 1. So x to the power of negative n minus 1. That is the answer. That's what this simplifies to. Right? So a lot of tricky steps. You just got to be careful with the distributing. This 1 half, we multiply by that whole expression. Right? Distribute inside the bracket. That 1 over 4, distribute. And then over here, when we're subtracting that negative 1, distribute, and you end up with that final answer.